All right, so today we are going to learn about Dale Chihuly, and he is an American glass sculptor and an entrepreneur. He was born in September 1941 in Tacoma, Washington, and he is 78 years old. He established the glass program in Rhode Island School of Design, and he co-founded the um, Pilchuck Glass School in his native Washington state. And he has made some pretty amazing glass sculptures. This art is in the lobby building of the Bellagio in Vegas. And this picture does not do it justice. It is a pretty amazing thing to see. So Chihuly reacted terribly to the passing of his father and only brother. He was arrested for breaking police car windows and street lamps. He joked that these were his first works in glass. After he lost his father and brother, most of his works of art were red. This is a floral hanging sculpture at the Kew Gardens in Southwest London. This is fireworks of glass in the Children's Art Museum in Indianapolis. He majored in interior design and architecture. He made his own furniture and even remodeled the basement of his mother's house. After discovering his true passion, he worked for six months as a commercial fisherman to raise the money for graduate school. And then he attended and graduated from RISD. This artwork is at the Seattle Center in Washington. In 1976, his career took a turn after a car accident in England and he went through the windshield. He cut his face with glass. While his body recovered, he lost all vision in his left eye. And another tragic blow to his career came after an accident while body surfing. He dislocated his right shoulder that impacted his ability to blow glass. Rather than quit his life work, that was receiving positive critiques and recognition. He developed a team to continue blowing glass while he worked on the design elements. This is at Kew's Garden in London. And Chihuly said, I want my work to appear as though it came from nature. So if someone found it, they might think it belonged there. All right, so first up, we're gonna make these awesome little flowers, which are just cups that are melted. So the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350, and then all you do is you take a cup and you draw on it. Um, and we, you can see we've used different kinds of cups. So these white cups, I think, we got them at the Dollar Tree, and those ones end up looking like these. And then these clear cups um, that we have a lot colored and ready to go in, um, those ones end up looking like this. And, oh, well, anyways, there's a whole bunch of different ones that we've done, like this one, I guess, are those. So, um, anyways, you just take your Sharpies, and color away however you want um, your cup to look like. We've got lots of different designs so you can kind of see what it ends up looking like, like this watermelon one, and they colored the middle green. You can also punch a hole in the middle of your cups before you melt them, and then you have a little hole that you can hang. All right, so we've got our cups on our tray. We've got wax paper on the bottom. I actually cut a hole in just a couple of them. Um, so we will see what they do. So the oven is preheated to 350. We're gonna put them in the oven and close it up. And we like to turn the oven light on and watch. You guys can't see it very good, but we watch it melt down. All right, so you can see them melting in here. It's pretty cool. It's one of the funnest parts of this 
um, art project is just watching them melt. And I can't see. So we just um, keep watching it until they are melted as much as we want them to melt down to. I mean, they look pretty cool right now, so you could take them out if you like this look, but we like them to go all the way down to the bottom. All right, so we took them out of the oven, and this is what they ended up like. The holes stayed, um, which will be pretty cool because now we can just hang them from a string or something and put them in the window, and I bet the bright colors will look really pretty. Um, they cool down pretty quick. Wow. Um, so you could actually grab them off of here after not too long of a time.